I started being being goth when I was 13 and uh, I got lilac hair like one year ago so so before that I had uh, black hair so it was even worse than because you were, were this goth thing and everybody was like oh go back to your graveyard <laughs> and so, and so it, it got better <laughs> because maybe I look more happy now I look more positive I look more positive <laughs> and that sucks <laughs> because because uh, I've, I've been into to, to Japanese visual K for, for so long and creating my style be, being a, a makeup artist almost and, and then that, I mean at the beginning I liked her but then, sorry, that hot appeared and then, <laughs> and then all, all, all of a sudden everybody's, oh, your, your hair's lilac, you're Lady Gaga. No, I'm not fucking Lady Gaga. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being myself and, and everything's... It's just Lady Gaga at the moment, it's horrible. Um, is that the first tattoo I ever got? This this moth there. And uh, it's kind of, I, I like to, d to divide my body into two parts. It's like the, the rational, neutral brain part. Brain part, and that's the, the emotional, outgoing, uh, aggressive part. Soul part. <laughs> Soul part. <laughs> and so it's like you have this evil moth. Yeah, and then this really nice and beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and they're connected because when when these two sides of me connect, then something good is going to happen. But so you've got soul, soul, and intelligence, and that's the connection. <laughs> um, I never really felt burdened by it until I was. It sounds horrible until I was like 20 years old, 19 years old. And all of a sudden, I, you know, it's quite simple. I realized that, I, that I, eventually I'm going to die. And I panicked. I don't know why. I, I was 20 years old and I thought, okay, okay, this lifetime, about two or three more times, I don't know when I'm going to die. And that's it. That I'm gone. Hey, you don't have that thought anymore. Oh, I'm so young. All of a sudden, you're 20. <laughs> and you still feel like 12. And <laughs> mentally, mentally, and then you think, ah, oh, my grandmother is 80, that's four times my age. Oh my god, I'm going oh to my die! God, I'm going to die! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite cliche, but yeah, being remembered through music is quite appealing because even though it's, you know, a standard thought of every, you know, second youth. No, oh, I want to be remembered. I want to sing in a band. I want to be famous and a star. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can see why it's so appealing to people, to young people. Yes. Um, and I think, um, you know, this whole wish to be famous, this crusade to be, it's, it's just another, you know, um, aspect, aspect of wanting to matter to people. What is it that we want out of life? I think... Yeah. To, to leave something, I mean, to, 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 to not get... Uh, to, get to, to be known. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, not uh, being forgotten, I think. But that, that you have enough people uh, who, who you can tell that, yeah, we are so alternative, uh, we don't want to, to be famous or to, to matter. Yeah, and then you think about it, that it didn't really, you know, got to do anything until you're 20 you know you didn't create anything big you didn't it didn't really matter to you know it didn't really change the life of any other person apart from you so what exactly did you live for school yeah that's where that's where you panic at least that's where i panicked i don't know about you the, the, you know so that, that, that people have, have got a problem with um, uh, worrying about it. Um, yeah, may, maybe, maybe some, maybe some people are right. You know, that if you, if you worry too much, if you if you think too much about you know the, the meaning of life, if you constantly um, you know just think about the theory of living that you don't really live in the end, I guess. But I don't think that's restricted to any certain scene. Um, I think that's restricted to 
And maybe they're right. Maybe that's restricted to people who've got too much time on their hands. <laughs> to like us. Like us. <laughs> Everyone tries to find a sense in life, and then <clears throat> after a few years, you see that there isn't a sense. If you're not religious. If you're not religious, <laughs> and and then you you you. Uh, that's the only thing that that uh, makes sense. It's, that's a, that's a logical conclusion. When when I when this life doesn't make sense, and I can't do. It, the only thing I can do is uh, to make it better or just do something that, will, that people will remember. That's the only logical conclusion. What was for, for me. What was your question again? I, sorry, I, I, I was listening to you and I forgot your question. I think it's a work. It's just a small existence. Yeah, it's just a different sort of mainstream. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, on the other um, hand, just to be really individual, not living at all, not being there. Um, you know, really neither object is very special. I don't know. I think it depends, it depends, on, the it depends on the person. If, if, you, if, you, can, if you say, yeah, yeah, if you're happy with being a good one, but uh, belonging to no one, to, to not be connected, it's like, why do you love <laughs> to be discriminated occasionally? Yeah. Then why do you love if, if you can take it if you're so strong enough you to just do it then yeah. Maybe you, you <laughs> well, <laughs> but just in general, <laughs> most people love their mother. Okay, and, 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 and uh, it's, it's, so it's for you, it's natural, <laughs> but you don't, have, you, belong, so you don't have a real it's reason it. why you love her. You know what? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> no, because you care for you if you love her. Ingo. Yeah, but but that's not a real 